was Crypto so coming to you in a YouTube video. So here we are, crypto double shot feature. All right, we have ETF pool and GP bots. All right, so here's GP bots right here. All right, so this is the place where you find these sort of opportunities in crypto. All right, which is on the Crypto Muscle Network and the Crypto Muscle Legacy channels. All right, large and in charge, pumping iron and pumping crypto. That's what we do. That's where it's at. Subscribe to everything I got. All right, so with that, let's go inside and take a look over what we have going on here. Because not only that your stop, you know, one-stop shop for everything is here. I mean, phew. You look at the variety of different platforms to choose from, to be a part of, you know, it, it's, there's so many that there's got to be one for everybody, at least one, just because, all right, so, you know what, let me see here, actually, I'll do that another time, but yeah, subscribe to everything I got, all right, check it all out, both channels there. All right, let's go inside. We'll come back to GP bots in a moment. We'll go talk about ETF pool. All right, ETF pool, AI powered ETF and cryptocurrency platform with their ETF AI software. All right, as it's been an ongoing theme in 2023, which is the use of AI uh, for trading and, you know, various things that they do with crypto. All right, hey. As long as it's uh, cranking it out and paying, I don't care how they do it. As long as they do it, right? And do it continuously for as long as possible. It'd be nice if it's forever, but as long as possible is the best way to go about it. And I'll take it. <laughs> so why ETF pool? Because you don't need a lot of money to get started in this, right? It helps you reduce risk, does it? Lower cost, global tailwinds, high growth panel potential. So you got the values, you got the FAQs they got going on here, different social medias. They do have an active Telegram group um, channel, and then they also have an unofficial community channel. Um, but it's fine because they communicate anything that's coming out of ETF pool anyways. It's just on an unofficial scale. And so with that, um, let me look at what they got going on here. Let's see here. Let's go to my account. And we can see what we got here. So these are the plans they got for this uh, particular platform, right? They have compound flexi, compound, I says compound balance, but uh, you know what? Let's go over here. It's easier if we check a look at the pools here. There we go. They have a compounding pool and a daily compounding flexi. And an ETF pool. So those are the three choices that they got. It all depends on you. All right. Compounding pool is a weekly disbursement. 4.75. It's not bad. You know. Uh, daily compounding flexi. is 0.95% daily. And dividends disbursement are on working days. Hmm. So that's very interesting too. You can easily jump into those pools if you want to. And then you have the ETF pool. You're making 0.8 to 1.1% daily. And that's where I put myself in to this particular platform, um, which is that plan right there. Making 0 0.8 to 1.1 daily with 500 bucks. And so that's what I did. Uh, so when we go back to the overview... Uh, so far, I've collected 254 of 500. And there is a $24, $24 dollar balance. And so, um, let me see here. It says dividend. I don't know. Let me see what we got. What's this here? At $24.34. Let's see here. Uh, should I do USDT TRC20? 
Let's see, was that? Hmm, uh, it does show the. I wonder what I should do here. Give me one sec. All right, so I had to double check here. So, uh, so far you can see the history of withdraws. Um, I'm already well beyond what I've taken out. So you can see that there, the breakdown of, every, of everything there. So very, very interesting. And I have a $24 balance. And I guess I'll put it in the Bitcoin wallet. Let's see if they disperse the full amount. Or not I guess they do so withdraw request submitted so that gives me a zero balance and that one's pending and they usually don't take too long when it comes to withdrawals as it's a manual process so uh, yeah so this is where it's at here with that 24 uh, I mean we, I do have dividends that I did here but at the same time, overall, I've accumulated more to pull out. So that's where it's at here. Uh, but that's the latest on ETF pool. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then also to share the partner here. Even though, I mean, the concept of it is kind of similar, but not really. All right, it's all about making crypto. And, um, you know, this one though, you can either do spot trading, arbitrage bot trading, or let it be in the automated trading goes into play like what I did here. I just let it go, go to play and I'll put in a thousand dollars and then I just proceed with that right there until it earns 200% for this one. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the bot, arbitrage bot here and buy, sell stuff and then spot trading up there. Nah, I, I'd rather not. I just let it be, you know, with the automated bots. It's so much easier, right? Uh, easiest way to get started, right? You sign up, you set up all your settings between the settings and withdraws. And then from there, what you got to do is you got to go add funds. And then for add funds, pick the one that you want to do. All right, that's trading bots list here we got. So I would just do this one, me personally. It says one active license and there's only four left to purchase. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's where it's at right here. Thousand and nine cents. And we're going to see where this thing goes. All right. We're just going to just continue to see where this thing goes. And right, let's take a look at withdraws. All right. So one thing they did announce is that they went away from the Tron network and shifted things over to the Binance Smart Chain. So if you are in GP bots and you didn't turn in the new application, to update the wallet addresses, then um, it's on you, right? Um, as for this, it's what's available, it's what we do, and it's all about staying on top of attention, right? So we already, I already went ahead and saved this address, and I have a 6990 balance. So there's the USDT BP20 or reinvest into the account. All right. So me personally, I'm going to do USDT BEP20, which is to this wallet, that amount, to this amount, and shouldn't be any more issues of that. So let's go there. Success withdraw. It says, it said wait, and then success withdraw. And there it is, right? It says 2%. So maybe when I keep refreshing it, it'll be, you know, it'll get there, right? In time. It's a manual process. I'm all right with that. You know, it's not, it's nothing wrong with that. All right. 
Oh, they all say 2%. Huh, very interesting that they all said that. I wonder what that 2% means. But yeah, so this is where we're at. All right, these are the opportunities. You have ETF pool, you have GP bots, crypto double shot, two great opportunities to make it and take it and run with it and uh, to go from there, right? So um, it's all about doing your research. It's all about seeing this is the stuff that you may like or may not like, but I'm pretty sure I got a platform in my portfolio that is for somebody. All right, but yeah, these are, uh, I mean, what is there not to like about these platforms here though, between ETF pool and GP bots? They're about kind of similar in terms of uh, performance and all that and the functionalities of it, even though one's a pool and the other one's uh, more of a bot trading, uh, I would much rather do this sort of thing than to actually go and uh, trade. You know, it, it's hard to trade. And even when I learned the techniques of the legendary Oracle style of trading, it's hard to trade overall though. I know that practice makes perfect and you know, once you do practice enough, you start to kind of see some of the, you know, technicalities and synchronicities that are within trading that you don't get from when it comes to versus automated trading platforms, right? So, but that's a whole different thing I might actually do one day um, is kind of talk about uh, trading, you know, in general and what I have done with it. You know, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Oh, shit. You know what? Here's one. Here's the latest update, by the way. This one has flown the coop, all right, unfortunately. It's too bad, though. Okay, the site's already gone. Wow. So, UXME is now gone. Um, this was kind of unexpected. It, it is a good platform because it came from good people. Right, Axneb was very good, um, but the I guess the magic that they try to come back with is gone because this one had pretty good fanfare, right? Pretty good amount of support that came into it, and it, it appeared to be, you know, the one that's just going to continue where Axneb left off, right? But then it just kind of was lackluster, which is disappointing. At the same time, not as much people joined as anticipated. A lot of people did join, but it wasn't anywhere near uh, the Axneb numbers. So in time, it started to kind of unravel itself. And then as of yesterday, they just pulled the plug. I didn't even know the site was down too. I just thought it would just pull the plug and that's that, you know. But yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you guys that, yeah, UXME is gone too, unfortunately. So, you know, it's just what it is. It's the way it works in the crypto biz. Uh, there's nothing we can really do about it, right? We just go with the flow. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. If you were to get anything out about anything whatsoever, it's always about not keeping all your eggs in one basket. It's all about you know, don't overextending yourself as well. Like, I know that you're tempted to put $100,000 into a plan, but you got to make sure that not all of that $100,000 is, is actually going to go to a plan. You need to, you know, be careful with what you do, all right? And, um, yeah, so just saying, uh, again, check out GP Bots. ETF pool, so many opportunities. Uh, also check out CloudFi today, uh, DeFi Night, and uh, Aerobit, all right, That's, which is the high yield platform as well. So yeah, a lot of things happening here. We're just so always busy, but we just keep it going and flowing. Comment down below, links down below, and like I said again, uh, UXME is gone, all right? And I'll see you next one.